Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome video where I'm super excited to walk you through a cool Photoshop trick. Today we are diving into something really important in portrait photography, adding catch lights to eyes. Trust me, catch lights can totally make those eyes pop and bring a whole new level of life to your shots. You might have noticed this issue especially in Asian and African people. It's all about melanin pigment hanging out in their iris. That same pigment affects their skin and hair color too. But guess what, there is a fix and it's very simple, add catch lights. So what exactly are catch lights? Well, think of them as those little reflections or sparkles in the eyes. They are caused by light sources hitting the eyes just right and creating these bright spots. And these spots, they are like a magic touch that turns eyes from dull and flat to lively and captivating. Catch lights do more than just adding a sparkle or reflection, they draw attention to the eyes and make them stand out. Imagine looking at a portrait where the eyes just feel alive and engaging. That's the catch light effect in action. All right, no more holding back. Just jump right in, time to learn how to add that extra spark to eyes using catch lights in Photoshop. In this tutorial, we will work with this sample photo. If you zoom in, you will see some small catch lights in the eyes, but they are not really standing out. We will fix that by adding bigger and more noticeable catch lights. Photographers use various lighting setups to get the catch lights they want. In this case, we will use the ring light effect. You can also experiment with different shapes and lighting setups for light sources and also you can use different photos as reference to add catch light. Now navigate to the shapes tool and choose the ellipse tool. Ensure that the fill color is set to white and maintain the rest of the settings identical to the ones I am using here. Begin by drawing the circle precisely onto the iris like this. While doing so, remember to hold, press and hold the shift key to ensure an impeccable circular shape. Next. Adjust the fill slider to completely eliminate any fill color within the circle. Following this step, initiate a double click on the shape layer to open the blending options panel. Within this panel, activate the stroke effect. Adjust the settings according to your liking. Additionally, enable both the inner glow and outer glow effects to enhance the circle's appearance. To lock in these changes, simply click the OK button to confirm the applied effects. Positioning and dimensions of the catch light plays a significant role in conveying the mood and expression of the subject. Therefore, take a moment to shift the catch light to a position that harmonizes with the subject's mood and expression. In this instance, the current placement of the catch light appears to be quite fitting, aligning well with the desired aesthetic and mood of the subject. Now we need to soften the edges. To soften the edges of the light, right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. Go to filter menu, choose Gaussian blur and apply a small amount of blur. The edges soften, mimicking the way light naturally diffuses in the real world. This tiny detail adds a touch of realism that can make a world of difference in your composition. Now duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J and drag it to the other eye like this. Simple, right? Now create a new blank layer by clicking this plus icon and use a soft brush. Change its blending to overlay to paint in the opposite direction of the light source. Visualize where your light source is coming from, whether it's sunlight streaming in from window or a spotlight casting its glow. Start brushing in the opposite direction of this light source. This technique is the magic behind creating depth and sense of authenticity. If the light is coming from the left, gently brush your strokes towards the right. This creates subtle shadows and highlights that mimic the interplay of light in the real world. Then apply Gaussian blur to spread the light out. This adds a nice touch of realism. By adding Gaussian blur, your artwork will now have that extra layer of dimension as if the light is genuinely interacting with your composition. Now duplicate this layer one by pressing Ctrl Command plus J. 
but we are not done yet lower the opacity of this duplicated layer to your liking we are almost finished now select all the layers and group them by pressing ctrl or command plus g let's rename this group catch light now if you are looking to take those catch lights to the next level of realism you can play around with the fill opacity this is where you can fine tune the intensity of the catch lights tone it down a touch for a more subtle effect adjusting the fill opacity gives you the power to tailor the luminosity of these tiny eye sparkles just the way you want to really elevate the authenticity of your light consider incorporating a layer mask to your dedicated light layer select a soft brush and load it up with black paint then gently apply this brush to the top portion of your light reflection by doing so you are essentially masking off the upper part of the light creating a seamless integration with the surrounding elements this technique lets you mimic how real world light behaves softly blending it into the existing textures and contours of your scene with these steps your catch lights will not only be convincing but also precisely placed and there you have it the before and after by mastering this technique you can really make your models eyes stand out feel free to experiment with different shapes and lighting setups for catch lights and if you are in a rush or feeling bit lazy you can even use generate to fill in photoshop beta to quickly add catch lights to your photos for a super quick way to add catch lights just open your photo in photoshop beta first enter into quick mask mode grab a soft brush and paint over the area where you want the light reflection to appear once you are done exit quick mask mode now inverse this selection by clicking this icon it's as easy as that now find generate to fill and type in bright catch light hit the generate button and watch the magic happens as three variations pop up take your pick from these variations see the which one vibes with you for me the first one's a winner in this case so there you have it a speedy way to make those catch lights shine so as you embark on your creative journey remember the power of catch lights and how they can transform any ordinary portrait into something truly captivating that's it for this video friends thanks for watching please subscribe for more tutorials and tips don't forget to like share and comment stay tuned for our next video take care and happy editing